through the blind here, plus uh, so the knee routine is a combination of techniques through the blind plus the use of cream or arm or root with lock, depending on the length of time you have. I'm also going to use heat uh, for this knee treatment because she's indicated tendons being tender and dry heat in a damp country is very good to bring warmth and blood flow, bring yang. When you bring yang, blood will follow that. The more blood we can bring to an area, this is what increases the healing of uh, long-term chronic injuries. When you have short-term acute injuries, you want to move excess yang out of the way. Yeah, it's over inflamed, blood flow, yang. We start always, I always begin, unless of course the situation dictates otherwise that we relax the quadriceps group. The reason for that is the patella tendon uh, is part of the muscular group, so if they have issues with their kneecap, issues in the joint itself, and the largest group of muscles that activate the knee are the quads and the hams. And typically most people's quads are stronger than the hamstrings. So there's always an imbalance in, the, in most people's legs. And most of the pushing muscles are stronger than the pulling muscles. It's a lot easier to do push-ups than there's pull-ups. How far should the heating lamp be from the knee or the body? Um, I usually do like um, about my wrist to my elbow, so about 12 inches mm -hmm. or more. Actually, that's more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, about a foot away. It depends on the strength of the lamp. This has a large head. Typically, the instructions will tell you be careful, always stay with your client, never leave them. And you, technically you're supposed to use the heat lamp directly on the skin, but I find it's okay through the part and it's infrared, it penetrates mm -hmm. to the bone, down to the bone surface layer. And some of the infrared signals go to about five centimeters in depth, so you can get right in there. But you have to have the thermal plate. Mm -hmm. And it goes grey, so this one's quite black, but because it's been replaced, what happens when the plate runs low, the plate goes um, grey. Some of them are just pure infrared, just like a filament. They don't have the, the, the herbs. It's like moxa, really. It's moxa. Oh, this is a film with herbs then? Yes, yeah, it's oh. like moxa. It's basically um, ceramic. Yeah, so it's a ceramic plate and it's got uh, it's a mixture of herbs and clay. And how often is this replaced then? A thousand hours. Okay. So it'll last you a good few years. It depends on how much you use it. Mm -hmm. But you'd, you know, you'd need to, if you looked at your treatment books, you'd need to treat it a thousand people for a thousand hours. Mm -hmm. Usually 20 minutes is good enough.
rolling with the forearm and roll far. You can do it this way. You can also sit down to relax your back. Coming down the muscle. Down to just above the kneecap. There's an area here called hooding, which is an extra point. It sits above about one finger width above the kneecap. Good for strengthening the knee. It's working the tendon, bringing blood into the tendon. Vastus medialis and the vastus lateralis muscle. The medialis muscle is where the spleen tenors. Good to work that area. It's also an, uh, a muscle that allows you to straighten your knee just those extra few inches and lock the knee out. So it's always a good muscle to treat because it gets weakened with knee injuries. Especially, uh, especially ligament injuries like cruciate, medial, collateral ligament damage. Then we press using arm fat. Stomach 31. Three, what was the slow one? Tell me, gurgling. Thirty four. Thirty five. Thirty six. You can do that way. Next, tweet. To make life easier on yourself, do double tweet above and below the knee joint. So I'm working tendons here, you can feel that, and larger tendon here of the tensure, fascia lata, TFL, also. This helps to relax the knee joint for manipulation. Here. So we're in around the tibia, fibula area. That's where you gallbladder 34 area. Mm -hmm. It's a good place to activate.
Windows. Das ist Windows, ja. It's part of my chi. <lacht> Above and below. Again, you'll find the inside of the leg a little bit softer. Spleen here. Okay, if the person has also got issues going into the groin muscle area, bend the knee, bring the knee down onto yours. If the person is male or female and it's a new client, you just want to make sure you're not punching into the groin area. So sometimes, if you could pass me a cushion there, Peter, sorry. Yeah. I just asked him to hold the cushion, just hold the cushion here. And then that way, I have... If it's an athlete, sometimes I just get them to put the hand on... So I ask you to put your hand here for me, on my back. So. And then that just means that I've got my boundary just for, you know, here I'm doing Twi, Gun, We're going to work the same area we worked through the cloth, but just this time using some uh, amaro, some lotion to warm. Bring some heat into the area. Stop the knee from getting damp. If there's a lot of pain at the back of the knee, obviously support the knee when you're treating.
thousands. No. But that's where the injury is, yeah? And repeats on the inside ligaments. Scar tissue there. This hurts. Yeah. How do you know that there is scar tissue? You can feel it. Okay. Yeah. See that? It's like a little, uh, tiny little piece of crystal, like a piece of glass in your skin. Mm -hmm. Tiny little pimple. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this hurts. Yeah. yeah. Working these two points. Xi'an. Xi'an. Yep. Kaffa. Okay, and then I get the person to turn over for me. Just pause it there for a second. 